Hello everyone, it's Isaac here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'd like to address a problem that I've seen a fair bit in the NitroType community. Um, and that is NitroType performance being really bad. And I don't mean typing, or accuracy, or anything like that. I mean like lag, and um, just times where NitroType stops working. Now sometimes, um, you'll notice that NitroType won't be working, and there's nothing you can do to fix it. That is because NitroType is probably down. They've been pretty good about... Um, not having too much downtime lately, so I kind of doubt it's an issue with the servers, but it's happened before. The easiest way to check is just to go to the Discord. Go to the NitroType official Discord, it will um, show, excuse me, it will show, um, like, people will, like, freak out in the chat if NitroType goes down, so you'll definitely know, if not, send a screenshot, ask them, or just ask them, you don't even need a screenshot, like, is NitroType working for you guys? should be at least one person that will go check and confirm or deny whether it's working. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's a server issue, there's nothing you can do about it. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about what you can do to make performance better. Okay, first things first, if you have more than one device, such as uh, myself, I have a desktop computer and a tablet, and I have a laptop too, it just doesn't work very well. Um, sometimes I'll listen to music or YouTube, which I recommend doing if you have a hard time focusing. Doing that on the separate device that will clear up CPU usage for NitroType. Another thing you can, that's it, just like dividing it between your computers can help quite a bit. Or if you maybe you just have a really, um, like your computer's overheating, if it has active cooling, meaning it has fans, make sure it can get uh, access to airflow. It might be a little bit noisier, like my desktop PC does have fans, and um, it is kind of noisy, but I would rather keep it up on my desk where it can get good airflow than kind of down underneath my desk where it's not going to be able to get good airflow. Another thing you can do is close out of tasks. This is like the number one thing you, if you Google why is my desktop, uh, just not desktop, but like why is my computer so laggy? Number one thing that's going to be is close background tasks. And you'd be surprised what's running in the background that you may not realize is running in the background. If I go to Task Manager, and this is only for Windows, you will see that um, I have like 98% CPU usage. That's just because it, it's a weird glitch with the garage that utilizes like all the CPU. Um, this is an old system and it has its kind of weird quirks. This is one of them. It's not going to crash or anything, but you can see I only have Chrome and OBS open, but there's all this stuff that's running in the background um, that can definitely add up. So if you know what you're doing, close out of it. Like you can end the task from here. If you're not using Windows and you're using Mac, uh, I don't know how to use Mac, you'll have to find someone else that knows how to do that. And if you're using Chrome, Chrome doesn't run too much in the background, so I wouldn't worry about it. Next things next is themes, stylus themes, stylish themes. If you use stylus or stylish, it doesn't really matter. They can take up valuable CPU resources. Um, for instance, if I go to my stylus, uh, yeah, um, I have this theme on and my CPU usage should spike. And it has, it's pretty much maxing out 100%, and it's not going much below that. So, that can actually affect your performance quite a bit. So I will disable that, and reload the page. And the theme's gone, and my CPU usage has probably gone down a little bit. You'd be surprised, especially if you're a streamer, like you stream on NitroType. Um, or just not stream on NitroType, but stream NitroType to YouTube or Twitch, or whatever else you stream to. Um, Stylish themes, stylus themes, doesn't matter which platform, can take up CPU usage. Another thing, and this is kind of a last resort, is your internet connection. These days everyone seems to have a fast internet connection. I live out in the middle of nowhere, I know what it's like to live without a good internet connection. Now, right now our internet connection is pretty good, but had companies in the past that have not been very good. Um, and obviously most of my fans are probably young, probably kids. You probably don't have much effect over internet plans and stuff you're not a parent and you're not paying for it. What I recommend you do is if you can get um, a better internet connection, maybe your family's considering it, I don't know, push for it. However, if you can't upgrade the plan, my throat is dying. <coughs> there we go. If you can't upgrade the plan, uh, know where your Wi-Fi antennas are on your computer. Make sure it can get a good uh, Wi-Fi signal to the router. If you don't know what any of this stuff is, you can always Google it. My throat is still dying. I don't know what's going on. I have something in my throat. Um, if your, your router or modem 
is, if you don't know what those are, the router is like the thing that gives you Wi-Fi. It's typically a box with the internet company's logo on it. Your modem is typically built into it. However, um, like with our company, the modem's bit, like off-site. It's not in our house. Um, and then our, it's just like a really long cable that connects to our router inside the house. Keep your router away from computer monitors, TVs, microwaves, um, and anything else that can that like emits a whole bunch of uh, computer like electronic signals. So keep it away from a computer too. Um, because that you'd be surprised how much that helps. And finally, if none of that internet stuff helps, sometimes just resetting the router, obviously with your parents' permission, because they don't want to. Maybe if they're working on something like a meeting, they can't afford to like have you unplug the router or something. I would recommend if you don't know what to do, don't mess around with anything. Um, like sometimes I just find disconnecting, reconnecting works. I'm not gonna hover over that because that'll do my. Um, Wi-Fi network and that might reveal some personal information but yeah just overall you, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with internet that should uh, help a little bit and yeah that's it for today's video hope you found this helpful sorry it was a little scatterbrained I did not have a script for today's video I typically don't uh, yeah that's it for today's video I know I already said that um, don't have any giveaways going on nothing really much is going on I will be able to upload tomorrow unlike a lot of Wednesdays where I'm not able to see you all next video Stay healthy, stay safe, and yeah, have a great day.